Seamus, Benaiz de Matthews, as Tammy and Erdin to Egevon School Gilgach. So I'm Benaiz de Matthews and I'm the t- head teacher at the Bun School Gilgach. We encourage parents to learn Manx because it's always great for the children. If uh, the parents are learning Manx, they see it as important um, and so the children see that their parents see it as important so it's not just something they do at school. During Covid, I know it's not the best time for everybody, but we made the best of it and hard time for teachers, parents and children. But um, I think we've come out of it OK at the end of it. Um, there's been an awful lot of online learning because Manx needs to be heard. We can't just expect the children to know um, what's going on. So we um, did a lot of face-to-face teaching, um, quizzes to make sure that we had everybody on board and um, parents could take part as well and help out. Um, but from that, I think it's helped us for the future. I think we'll probably be doing more and more home school quizzes and we're starting to use it more and more in the classroom too. So there's been lots of good things come out of it too. Thanks to uh, Culture Vanin and um, the Rainy Dillon there, he's done an awful lot with adults and an awful lot with the um, parents of the school. So I've seen a, a huge increase in the amount of parents that speak Max to us and just around the playground, which is great. Before my children started the Bunskol Gilgach, I was reasonably involved with the Manx community. Um, I grew up doing Manx dancing, we used to sing in Manx, um, and my parents spoke Manx as well. So I had quite a lot of exposure, I suppose, to Manx already. Um, so it felt for me like a natural progression. So my children, um, well, we, took, we used to go to Pos and Ploy, um, and they all went to Munjavega as well, so all three of them are at Munjavega. The youngest will start the Bunskull this September as well. So it's been like a natural progression through the stages for me. There are lots of parents at the Bunskull Gilgach um, who do not speak any Manx at all. Um, parents choose to send their children to the Bunskull for many different reasons and I don't think that it's essential for you to learn Manx, have any prior knowledge of Manx at all. I think for a lot of parents it prompts their interest in Manx. So they see what their children are doing, what they're involved in, um, and they find out how they can access lessons. There's lots of things online as well that you can access, and it kind of prompts that interest for parents. It's not essential, um, but for me, I found it a really good opportunity to further my Manx as well. I have been able to access a lot of support in learning my Manx since my children have been at the Bun School. There's lessons that I go to after drop-off in Greens that are really accessible um, and convenient. Um, and there's lots online to access as well. And it's been great recently with lots of Zoom um, classes and things that you can access as well. Um, So yeah, lots of different ways to access support. Before I sent my children to the Bun School, I had no contact with Manx really. I knew it existed um, and I knew a couple of people who spoke Manx, but I didn't speak Manx. Um, None of my family spoke Manx. I wasn't, you know, raised in that sort of environment. And I never thought I'd become a Manx speaker myself. Um, I never really did very well with languages at school, so I just thought that was something I would never be able to accomplish. And I wanted my children to have this culturally Manx upbringing and hopefully they'd learn Manx language as well and I could divest myself of responsibility somehow and it would fall on the next generation. Um, But I started with a class um, not, not because I felt like I had to, because the school had made it quite clear that we were welcome, um, even though we weren't a Manx speaking family. Um, but I thought, well, I better show willing and I'll go to class. And if I learn how to say, you know, I want a cup of tea and isn't the weather nice, I'll be happy with that and I'll feel like I've ticked a box and done my bit. And the more I went along with the classes, the more I started to really enjoy it and and I have to say it was almost independent of what my daughter was doing through her classes. I'd sometimes look through her books and think oh do I know any of these words but I was personally getting something out of it and I was really enjoying the classes and I was getting a little bit of a thrill out of realising actually I can learn a second language and it's not something that's out of my reach at all and just because I had a terrible experience with French and German at high school doesn't mean that you know I'm incapable of learning another language and I suppose it gave me the opportunity to learn Manx that I wouldn't have ordinarily have like I wouldn't have bothered really, you know, I'd have, I loved Manx culture, Manx history, Manx dancing, but I felt like learning the language was like a step too far. And then I realised, you know, it's brilliant and I can do this and you just have to put in a bit of time, a bit of effort, go to the classes and this whole new world opens up to you and I've met loads of friends, you know, really good friends through that whole scene. And none of that was because I felt like I had to, I just really, really started to enjoy it.
I wouldn't say it's essential for a parent to have Manx themselves to send their children to the Bund School. Um, I don't know if there's been any studies recently done on the composition of uh, um, parents that do and don't have Manx. Anecdotally from you know, my friendship group, there are some parents who honestly they don't have much of an interest in learning Manx themselves. They, you know, their children go, but some of those children are brilliant Manx speakers, they're brilliant advocates for the language and I know they will go on to be great adult speakers and you know, active members of the language community and I feel like it would be a shame if those children weren't present in the future in the language community just because their parents hadn't you know, taken a, an interest in Manx. I love the fact that there are more and more parents that are speaking Manx at the school gates because you know you can have a bit of a chat in the mornings and it gives you that nice sense of community but I don't think it's essential it is it is useful to learn a little bit so you know what the what the children are saying sometimes but I don't think it's essential for me it's very important for my kids to learn Manx because they are younger brighter they're more likely to learn it and of course Manx is a part of the Isle of Man and it's a gift which we can give our kids and it's, it's something I feel which is important to give my children the chance to have this important part of being Manx themselves. I had no experience of Manx before my children started the Bunskoel Gilgach. When I was small I was one of those kids who thought it was silly, why would you do that, what's the point? And then I got to an age where I was living away after university and then I had children and I, it kind of clicked for me that the language was a key part of, for me, a key element of what being Manx was. And so it was very important for me then to make sure that my kids had this thing which I had not had for myself. I am now learning Manx, I'm a few years into it, not as good as my children in the school I have to admit, but along my journey to learning Manx I've had the um, privilege to be able to use lots of classes put on by Culture Bannon, as well as lots of various things set up by communities and friends. I entered through the lessons and very much now I'm beginning to emerge out of that into communities and friends, groups who meet up and chat, people who are reading the same books at the same time, helping each other and growing this community of Manx learners and speakers. I think it's important to say that it's, it's not essential for parents who send their kids to the Bunskog Gilgach for themselves to speak Manx. The key thing is that Manx is spoken and that it's supported. Because of course, you can imagine it like this pyramid. You have at the top the speakers, and then you have the learners, and then very important is this wide bank of supporters who are just there to be positive and encourage people to themselves reach the higher limits of language. <laughs>